I'm Tom Rogers with Iron Tri News and I'm also a Hammer Nutrition user now for over 12 years. This will be my 10th Ironman in Kona. I've been doing Kona since 2000. Um, I also do ultra cycling which is where I first found out about Hammer Nutrition and I'm going to show you directly today how I mix my bottles for uh, Kona. Uh, and it's a unique mixture for a hot weather race. This could also work for a race like Ironman Texas, uh, uh, a half Ironman race in the south and Florida. Maybe not Ironman Florida, it's pretty cool, but, but this is going to be for a warm weather race. Uh, but the same principles work for, for other races or for training in the heat or whatever. So basically what I have here is um, I have my hammer products, I have my water bottles, and I have a kind of a custom mixture. I have the Endurolites powder. I like the old school powder that comes in the powder. Um, you can also get the caps, open the caps, put the powder in. Now this is not what it looks like, which is an older product they used to make called Premium Insurance Camps. This is 15 scoops of sustained energy. Why do I not have it in a sustained energy canister? It's too big to carry on the plane. It's a huge canister. So I take out what I need for this race, put it in a smaller canister, it's nice and secure. You can also use large plastic bags for this. I also put the standard scoop in there to make sure I'm measuring. Everything is going to be a lot like I would do if I were doing a five to eight hour ride in training. This is exactly how I would do it. So we're going to start out here with these two bottles are going to be for the bike. This is for something else on the run. I'm going to show you how I do this. So to start out on the bike, when I come out of the salty water, I've been in salt water for over an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, it's already going to start getting a little hot, warm, not hot yet, but I'm definitely going to be thirsty. So what I want to do is not over mix this bottle. Okay, I do not want to over mix this bottle. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put one scoop, two scoops of sustained energy. And I like the sustained energy because it's a simple white powder. But I'm only going to put, I have both the small and the large scoops uh, for the Endurolites powder. I'm only going to put a small scoop of sodium in here. Why is that? Because basically I've been taking in sodium in my mouth the whole swim. Uh, a Pacific swim in the Southern Pacific is very salty. Um, I'm also going to add a little, a tiny little five gram scoop of creatine. This is optional. If you're not used to creatine or you don't use it in training or for weightlifting or anything, don't use it. Um, but creatine can be good. Um, if you like, I like a little bit of creatine during a race, especially on the bike. This seems to give me a little bit more muscular power. So I get these things in there. And then um, I'm going to use some uh, pure water. I'm actually here in Hawaii, up in the mountains, actually, of, of the big island. And I'm at a special, kind of a organic, environmentally sound bed and breakfast. They've given me this really fresh... Uh, spring water. I'm going to shake it up. And it gets a little foamy. So um, what usually happens is, especially with all the Endurolites and everything, I usually have to just let it sit. So we'll let that sit here. Okay. And then we'll come back and start on the second bottle. Now what's the difference about the second bottle? I'm going to pour out some water. I had. Well, no, this water is actually fresh spring water too. The difference in the second bottle is, is I'm going to mix this bottle double strength. This bottle is going to go into a front arrow loader before the race begins, early in the morning. And I'll show you that later. And then this bottle is going to go in a rear bottle holder behind the seat. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to put one, two, three scoops of sustained energy. I'm going to kind of over mix this bottle. And then, this is kind of a trick I learned. I'm going to shake this up just a little bit. That's about 330 calories. And I want, this is again, a double, this bottle should be equal to two water bottles. I'm going to show you a little trick that kind of makes the foam go down. It's going to give me a little punch as the race goes on. I'm going to put about 100 calories of the espresso hammer gel. One of the coolest things about hammer gel versus every other product, power gel, goo, whatever, is that you can put it directly into water. It's water soluble and it'll directly mix in. And believe it or not, if you put espresso in a foamy sustained energy, it makes the bubbles go away. So I shake and I shake and I shake and the bubbles go away. 
So I now have about 430 calories or more and, um, in one bottle of about, say, 25, 26 ounces. And now I can easily fill this all the way to the top. So this is going to be a double strength bottle. And there's a very good reason that I'm, I'm doing it this way. I, I've also noticed that this bottle, the foam has gone down. So I can add a little bit more, add a little bit more. I kind of top this one off. So now I have one single strength bottle to go ahead and pour directly into the front loading thing. You can, if you also have just a front loading uh, cage, you can, you know, a lot of people mount their bottles like this now. A lot of people have a special setup. I do with a straw. That's what I'm going to do with this bottle. This bottle is going to go in the rear and go later. And um, the reason I do that is, is when I get in the race, um, when this bottle is gone, I'll actually, I kind of have a feeling of how many squeezes is half a bottle. I'll put half a bottle in the front loader and then add the race hand up water. I'll let them hand me up water. Water's readily available every 10 miles. They have very good hand ups. And I will put some water in the front loader and some of this, and then that'll make the front loader be single strength again. So basically I have one, I really have one water bottle and then two and one water bottles. I have three water bottles. This will get me maybe through the first half of the ride, maybe the first uh, 56 miles of the ride, maybe not quite that far but pretty darn far and definitely enough liquid calories. Okay, now one thing I didn't do to this bottle yet, I kind of forgot, is because it's now getting hotter. Um, the sun is now up, the pace is picking up, and this is a double strength bottle, so I've also gotten all the seawater out of my mouth and lungs, so I'm gonna use the large EnduraCap EnduraLite scoop, which is equal to two of the little ones, and I'm actually gonna put two of those in there. And that may sound like a lot of sodium, but I'm a big guy at 185 pounds, and this is Hawaii. So I promise you, I will need that sodium. A little bit too much sodium doesn't hurt me in the heat, because it just makes me want to drink more water. And anything that makes you want to drink more water when water is readily available and you can stay hydrated is a kind of a good thing in the heat. One of the bad things about racing in the heat is that sometimes you'll actually stop getting thirsty. And that's bad. When you stop getting thirsty, or you're you know, kind of moderately thirsty and you stop wanting to drink, that's actually kind of a sign of dehydration or hyponatremia. So, um, I now have this double strength, single strength. And notice it's also double and single strength electrolytes. Very, very important. And it, it's not that hot yet. When I make the climb to Javi to mile 60, I'll be at 1,500 feet. It'll be nice and cool. Now, this is half of what I would do. I would do this yet again a second time with two other bottles. I'm not going to show you that because we don't have time in the video. But I'm going to make two more bottles just like this. I'm going to put those in the special needs bag.